happy to have good friends, good company, good health and enjoy life and family. We know that happiness also comes from engaging in activities that create a sense of flow. They're those sorts of activities that um, when you're engaged in you, you lose track of time. When people stop after the hug and we stop and have a chat it's usually uh, they'll be asking me why I'm doing this and, and why I'm out here hugging people. What does it all mean? Am I with a religion? No. Um, and then sometimes I'll ask people if they're having a good day and they'll say no and they'll tell me all about their day and their life. And usually you, you just get to meet someone, you connect with them in a way and it's nice, it's refreshing to know that there are people out there who are just willing to open up to other people and tell you what's going on. There's a, there's a real human element to what I'm doing. Here. It's nice. It's enjoyable. Образование, любовь, дети. That's it. I've been here at Oasis nine years now. What we've tried to do is have a whole lot of opportunities that young people can actually sort of taste things and say, well, you know, maybe I, my life hasn't been had much in it until now, but now I can start to see that there are things I can do. There is that I'm not worthless, that I do, I do have the capacity to um, make a contribution and to, and to feel valuable as a person. For me, happiness is, if you're born with two hands, two feet, you know, a reasonable sort of art, the way I see it, you're responsible for your own happiness, get off your ass and make it happen, you know, and there's, there's, there's too much to do out there to sit around whinging about not being happy. That's just honestly the way I see it, you know. A lot of people report flow when they're exercising, say, or when, when they're walking or running. It's often when you're engaged in a particular hobby. So uh, artists, for example, I've um, seen a number of people who paint or, or even sew or knit who, um, you know, um, who, who say that they, they could be engaged in their activity and several hours could go by and they've forgotten to eat or they've just totally lost track of time. Well, it's either that or sit at home and watch television. I can come out here in the middle of the city, I can meet thousands of new people, I can hug everyone, I can see people smile and laugh. It's like making a difference without really doing too much hard work. My life is invested in people and I guess as a person who invests their life in money might get overjoyed if, um, they, if their shares you know, have a huge return or they get some major win in their financial area. I just think it's just a fantastic feeling to see someone overcome a hurdle in their life, a barrier in their life and uh, then you see that with just someone to journey with them and walk beside them and, uh, and encourage them and, and provide some practical help sometimes that people, no matter how hard life can be, can change. And, and there, there is no greater thrill or feeling to see that. Those types of activities, when you get so involved that you don't even know what you're doing or you lose track of time, that's the word that's used to describe that is flow. And we know that happy people tend to engage in more activities from which they get a sense of flow. I've been doing my art here, including this this big picture I've got. Of, uh, it says the pathway to peace and uh, reach out in friendship. And I was painting that here when um, all these kids sat along the, the bench here, like 
crows on a power line and, and I was painting and I wasn't thinking too much about anything Don't except worry, painting and uh, one kid said uh, what are you doing mister and and I was just painting away and I said I'm painting the world with happiness chocolate chocolate's good everyone's gonna have chocolate being optimistic just deciding to yourself everything's not so bad you can change what you want it's all good I think one person can make a difference to another person's life, maybe if even just making someone smile. For just a moment of their day, it does make a difference. To show them something different and unexpected makes a difference. And I think when they realise that you can go out there and make a gesture without harming yourself and without really making any real effort, maybe it'll catch on. Maybe other people will come out here and do their thing as well. So I painted this which is the world. It's faded a bit in the sun. And, uh, and when I painted the world, I, I put Australia here because I've got this, this theory going on, Australia being the belly button of the world. And, and then I went around the outline of the uh, countries in this gold line, and, and I noticed as I was doing it, I was connecting all the countries together. And uh, so, then I thought I'll put those two lines together, uh, paint the world with happiness, connected by the golden thread of friendship. And you know, that's what it's about. You know? It's learning, learning to live together, not learning to hate one another. <laughs> My dad's in Canberra now, he has to work, like, because I haven't seen him for a long time, so when I see him, that's going to make me happy. So I argue that we should focus on the things that really do matter, better relationships, uh, pursuing the things that we find fulfilling, and above all, and this is what all of the studies show, only reinforcing the folk wisdom, and that is that to, to lead a fulfilling and worthwhile life, there's one thing that dominates all other factors, and that is a sense of meaning and purpose. A sense of meaning and purpose in life is, according to all of the studies, as well as, as we know intuitively, the thing that uh, allows people to lie on their deathbeds and think it was worthwhile.